Hey, Magic friends. Welcome back. This is the Captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. This is a Gen Con edition video for you guys today. I'm back. I'm home. Uh, I've already went to a whole day of work and I'm tired. So I'm going to give you guys a couple videos. Uh, try to build my queue back up. I know I haven't been posting for a while since I've been at Gen Con. So sorry about that. Eh. But hey, it was worth it. So talk a little bit about some of the things we got at Gen Con outside of the original VIG stuff that I showed you guys. So... Uh, from the big stuff that I got, uh, one of the things you're going to notice is, you know, we had the eBay store where they gave out a sweet enamel pin we talked about, a gift card for 10 bucks. No, I'm not going to show you the back. I'm not stupid. Um, at least not normally. Uh, some sleeves. Also, they were handing out their board game, uh, which unfortunately I didn't get because, I don't know, stuff. But I uh, feel kind of kind of shammed on that one. But one thing I did get that some people didn't know about was I hit up the Catan sheep truck. That's right. If you guys wasn't aware, uh, there's a sheep truck that was at that was at Gen Con for Catan, um, and there was a, a contest to name the sheep truck, and it was making noises at you. It was actually pretty funny, uh, and it kind of they gave you all kinds of free stuff. Like they gave you a little pin here. You can kind of see the sheep pin. Uh, this there was chapstick, which came in very handy. Uh, this one is lemonade. Mmm, good stuff. Uh, they had several flavors. They had some mints as well, which actually say Catan on them, so they're actually not really cheap. And if you're curious what this big red thing is, it is a water bottle, which I will probably never use. But still, some decent stuff. Uh, you know, enamel pins are always kind of sweet. Well, that's not really enamel, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, lip balms, usable. And it was really cool to see the cheap truck. I normally don't get a chance to see that, so that was pretty sweet. Something else I found later uh, in the VIG area were for the masks, there were these things. Uh, there were all kinds of different ones. These were the two that I got that I thought were really cool. Uh, basically, you put your mask on, this goes behind your head, uh, and the loops go on here so it can support around the back of your neck so it doesn't hurt your ears. And it's really cool how it's themed for dragons, just like in Gen Con. So I thought this was really cool, so I picked a couple of those up. Like those a lot. Uh, other things we picked up, we talked about these. They were two bucks a piece with coupon. Uh, not too bad. Might give these out to somebody as prizes. Uh, other things we got a chance to pick up. We went to... I forget what the guy's name was. Uh, Pest Effect. Uh, and we got these really sweet lightsaber bookmarks. Um, got them for my friends. I hope they like them. Uh, obviously, if you put them in the light, they glow and they shine. They're really cool. So, yeah, on metal... Also, too, this is a set of four for the whole set that they have for this year. Uh, this was a great stand if you guys didn't get a chance to see him. Uh, definitely look to hit him up next year because he always has good stuff. Not even lying. So, put those back away so I don't lose them. Uh, next, I went with my other I went for my other friend to My Hero Academia. I bought a bunch of play matches. I'm not going to show you here. Uh, but buying those playmats, playmats got these uh, sweet limited edition cards to go with them, uh, which I'm sure he'll be happy about. Uh, they were I just kind of took this one but anyway. Uh, these ones are all nice and foil. Obviously, this one's not. Uh, and you got one for every playmat that you did, or that you bought. Excuse me, that you did. Uh, you also got a pretty good chunk of capture evil doers. Uh, I think for every playmat you did, so I have four here. Uh, you have heroic lineage, lint lineage, you know, and so you have all that. So not too shabby. Uh, they were pretty cool. That one's got a little bit of damage on it. He's not gonna like that. Oh well. Uh, but yeah. So there's that, and of course there's more cards that are not foil that are promos. So. That was really sweet. Played some Magic. Busted out with uh, some of this stuff. Three packs of Modern Horizons, two Kamigawas, and I ended up with a Chilling Rain somehow. Um, let's, not, let's not ask questions. But anyway, uh, so this might be some more good stuff I might hand out to the, any patrons I might end up with uh, before I open them on the channel just because, you know, it'd be really cool to hook a patron up with a free pack of cards. So, pretty nice. Uh, all this was one from Double Master Drafts, so needless to say, I got my money back, and then some. So, but yeah, that was always fun. Enjoyed that a lot. So, 
Uh, another thing that was uh, kind of in the big area that we got the, a chance to take was this board game called Trails. Uh, it's basically a quick board game about hiking across uh, national parks, I guess. It's supposed to be quick, easy. And it says here it's for two to four players, 10 and up, 10 to 20, min 20 to 40 minutes. So, eh, not too shabby, I guess. Be for free. Uh, now on to the sweet stuff. So the sweet stuff that I'm talking about is uh, everything that was Gen Con related. So in other words, themed Gen Con items. So the first thing we're going to start with is this. So this was a themed item in one of the miniature markets. It says adventurers and adversaries. Um, I forgot what market exactly was. Tins made in China. That's good stuff. Um, but this is Genevieve the Dragon as a mini. So... Uh, for 15 bucks, you can get this mini Genevieve you can see here. And the whole purpose to her is once you put her together, she kind of like lays on her back with her wings. And right here, you can see we put the arms and stuff. She actually holds a D20. Um, so that was a really cool mini, I thought. I thought it was a great idea, great decoration. Uh, and it kind of give you guys an idea. Uh, obviously, I took a couple playbooks on with me. Um, I'll look up the uh, per se mini in question to show you what it really looks like after it's actually been assembled. So, give me one second. And plow, just like that. That's what she'll look like when she's fully assembled. I thought that was really cool. Of course, she got a painter. Uh, so, I thought that was really sweet. Um, I did buy two of those minis um, just because I might want to paint her different colors and maybe my buddy might want one. So, I did pick up two of those, 15 bucks a piece. I thought that was a pretty decent deal, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the next thing we have is the acrylic uh, mat that sticks onto your windshield for Gen Con 2020. This was 20 bucks, uh, I'm not gonna lie. This is from uh, Geek Orthodox. You guys ever see them, go hook them up. They got plenty of these kind of, uh, as you can see, um, not ceramic. Um, oh, I'm having a brain fart. Anyway, stained glass. That's the word I'm looking for. These kind of stained glass clings that you can uh, put on your windows. And they're, they're pretty much guaranteed to always come off and go back on. I thought this was really cool for 20 bucks. We've, they've never done one like this for Gen Con. Uh, so I thought this was a great buy. Um, I'm actually really happy with it. Um, I'm almost even scared to put it somewhere. I kind of wish I'd have bought two. That way I could just keep one and then stick one up. But who knows? Uh, maybe, maybe I'll change my mind later. And then what you all came for to actually have a discussion about, I've been asked, is what did I think about the Gen Con shirt for this year? And here it is. To be honest with you, not really impressed. So we'll go with the with the good first. Uh, this shirt feels nice, uh, but when I say feels nice, I mean it feels nice like here where there's no marking on it. Uh, this shirt apparently is made out of 100% cotton, which is really cool, which is probably why it's so nice and soft. However, the problem I have with this shirt um, is this stuff. Um, I don't know what Underworld is. I'm sure it's probably a game, and I'm sure it's probably cool. Um, but all this texture and this wording and this picture is raised on the shirt. And for me, I don't like that. Just because I don't like the way it feels when I wear it. Because it always feels like there's something on my chest. It feels like it's pushing against me. Um, I mean, so all in all, the shirt's okay. Although I wish they'd have done a different graphic style. Uh, more like those kind of graphics are just kind of in the shirt, not overlaid or raised on them. So that's my personal opinion. Overall, though, I mean, it's a fine shirt for free, but I think they could have done better, uh, especially with this year only giving away one swag bag instead of two with extra stuff. Like, I really feel they could have done a better job with the shirt. So, uh, but on the uh, on the better side, uh, for you, those individuals who have... Uh, you see here it says VIG and, you know, it's Gen Con. It's also backwards, so whatever that means. Uh, for you individuals who have this shirt with the um, larger pectoral muscles, young ladies, 
Um, it's kind of neat if you put this shirt on and let somebody rub their hand across it, it says, nice boobs. No, I'm joking. It doesn't say that. Um, but it is in Braille. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Anyway, so all in all, um, I mean, the shirt's fine. I like it. I just wish it wasn't so... I just wish it wasn't raised. I wish this was nice and even with the shirt so it was just a shirt could save that whole softness. And this would have been a great shirt in my opinion. Uh, but again, I'm not sure what Underworld is and I'm not all that hot on the fact that this is not Genevieve or somebody like that on here or a gelatinous cube or something dragon or D&D &D based. I mean, yeah, these are skeletons, but I don't know. For me this year, this was a little lackluster. So, but... All in all, great time. Lots of cool swag. Um, probably could have done a little better, to be honest with you. Um, but hey, I mean, you do you get what you get, right? So all in all, it was a great time. I appreciate it. Uh, as always, guys, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate all the help I can get trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. If you've done everything you can to subscribe, check out the links in the description to the eBay store, my Patreon. Uh, my email's in there if you just want to say hey. And uh, with all that said, don't forget, until next time, be kind. And as always, I hope to see you across from my game table. Later.